Yo, what's up guys, it's Nocity, and today I'm bringing you a quick little commentary here on Obey HQ. This is a GB variant game battles match. Uh, we 6-1 them, I go 11-3. and three. We give them the smack McCheese, but that's not what I want to talk about today. What I do want to talk about today is what I want to see in the next Xbox Live when it regards customization and stuff like that. Uh, what I mean by that is, on Xbox Live now, most of you may know, if, unless you play PS3, but most of you may know that you the customization on Xbox isn't the greatest. There could always be more they could do. And these are my ideas on what they could add in the next Xbox Live system and stuff like that. The uh, As you guys know, if you were to press the guide button on your Xbox, it's kind of white in the background, and the words are black, and it's not really fancy, and it doesn't really... It kind of hurts your eyes if you're playing in the dark for a while. Uh, I'd like to see customization there and around there with color changing and text colors, stuff like that. I want to make it more personal. I want to see some GFX and stuff back there to make it more personal because Xboxes and consoles themselves actually are becoming a lot more like PCs. And I would like to see the same sort of PC customization as you, as you see on PCs on new consoles like the Xbox 720, which it may be called, I'm not, not quite sure, and the PS4, which I know it's called. The, uh, what also, oh, sorry. Other customization I would like to see is, uh, like, on your dashboards for your Xboxes, your, your backgrounds and stuff for that. A lot of people do have custom backgrounds in their Xboxes. You may see them in live streams. Uh, Nade Shot, I think, has one. And uh, pe some people in Obey, like Semtex, they have some on their uh, backgrounds. And I would like to see those be more uh, more plentiful, plentiful in out there. I want, I want it to be more common knowledge and I want it to be a lot easier for people to do because right now I believe you have to put it on a USB stick and throw it in your Xbox and put it to that way. I think I did it once but it didn't work out so I didn't do it. Um, another thing I would like to do with customization is notifications. In this game there's some notifications that will pop up on your screen and they are distracting to me and probably you when you see them. So I would like some customization in and around that as well when it comes down to regions they'll pop up, what they look like, how loud they are, how big they are. I mean, there's an option to turn off notifications itself, but I like to see my notifications and I would like to see them a lot less um, in your face, as you would say. They're, they're very, very distracting to me. Like, in, say, in this game battles match, I was in a 1v4 clutch situation. Since I'm a godly player, I would have gotten that clutch, obviously. So, what if a giant notification pops up, like blah 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 started playing uh, Dance Central or something like that. And I go, oh, he's playing Dance Central, what a weirdo. Dance Central's a fun game, by the way. You should all buy it. But that's beside the point. I have severe ADD. Oh my lanta. Alright, well, back to what I said. I feel like notifications should be a lot more customizable. They should be in certain areas of your screen. They should be different colors. They shouldn't be so in your face, like I said. But uh, when it comes down to it, none of this stuff is probably going to be put into Xbox Live anyway, so this commentary is completely pointless. So, yeah. That's that's uh, that's interesting, right? But <laughs> I think there will be more customization in Xbox Live, personally, but I would definitely like to see the stuff I've said. Another thing I would also like to see is uh, on your dashboard, since it does, like, right now, it does look a lot like Windows 8. And since it does look like Windows 8, I believe the next Xbox will have a Windows 8-like thing. So, I like to see customization when it comes down to your dashboard and your boxes. And you could have a million boxes with a bunch of shit on it. Or you could have one box with Play Game on it. And you could click on that and that's all you have. I'd like to see the dashboard on your Xbox a lot more customizable. Because right now, every single Xbox looks almost the same. When it comes down to Xbox Live, there's no really very varied stuff and it's kind of unpersonal it's kind of bland now and it's everything needs to be personalized or it's just boring it's not going to be looked at like xbox is trying to bring more people to the dashboard and stuff like that with adding these apps and stuff but the fact of the matter is the dashboard is the most boring thing ever there is nothing on it i ever really want to do or anything i really want to see because it one it's not mine and two it's just they it's just like not what I want to see there. I want to see it what I want to see there. I don't want, I don't really want to see what they want me to see. That's kind of the way it goes. But this commentary is wrapping up. So guys, don't forget to leave a like or a comment or a subscribe while you're at it. It's not really hard. It's right above me or the video here. You can go to the top left and subscribe up there. You can like it down at the bottom. You can dislike it if you really don't like it. But I really don't want you to dislike it because it'll make me cry. Uh, also, in the description, there'll be my previous video, which is a a uh, gameplay on a map express it's a what I I believe I don't know what the fuck did I go over that 
It was a game on the, it was a gameplay commentary on the map Express. It was a league play match. I know I did pretty well. It's a pretty nice commentary. So that'll be down there below. Also down in the description, there'll be that my Twitter, my YouTube, the Team Bay Pros YouTube and Twitter. You can go follow and subscribe to them. Also down the bottom, there'll be two videos from the other two Obey directors. There's Cuddy. A video will be down there from him. I'm sure it'll be great. And also there will be video from Joe or Evo. His video will also be great as well. So you could go check out those videos. I'm sure they'll be amazing. And uh, this commentary is wrapping up. It did turn out that this game was, I think it, it was variant. Yeah, it was variant. We 6-1 him. I go 11-3. and three. It was a pretty good gameplay, but commentary is wrapping up. It's coming to an end here. And uh, thanks, guys. This is Nocity. Later.